I have been playing so much Outriders, y'all. I finished every side quest and the main story, and today we're going to go through the build that I used pretty much through my entire playthrough as a solo trickster player. So, without further ado, let's go. This video is sponsored by me. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that big red button and do all those YouTube things. You know how it goes. I decided to focus on using an assault rifle and the reaver skill line rather than the harbinger and assassin as the assassin it's very easy to die especially in solo play what i found and the harbinger is kind of a little bit of overkill as it pushes your resistances more than your actual damage and i just love doing damage so that's why i decided to go with the reaver as our main skill line it's kind of a happy medium in between the two basically how this build functions is leveraging skills like twisted rounds and borrowed time to increase your firepower as well as providing some much needed shield so that you can get into the close range and deal as much damage as possible. When borrowed time is active, charging into combat with twisted rounds and trying to get as close to enemies as possible so that you can get that health back. We are combining these two skills with the weapon mod Perpetuum Mobile. When you kill an enemy with your mag below 30% or less, you will instantly refresh that mag. So basically you can keep shooting forever. And what this means is as you don't reload, your twisted rounds doesn't reset. So you can almost have infinite twisted rounds so we're basically focusing on buffing our firepower and our twisted rounds as much as possible using assault rifles and just charging into combat. When you do need to, you can jump back out with borrowed time, wait for your cooldowns to reset, and then go again. Now let's break down everything you need for this build. Starting off with skills, the two primary skills that you need are Twisted Rounds, which we discussed, which basically this whole build revolves around Twisted Rounds. And what you do is when you do activate this, your damage will get increased based on your Anomaly Power and Borrowed Time, which is a skill that when you pop it, it will give you shields and a spot that you can teleport back to whenever you want. I typically use Borrowed Time at the start of an encounter or when I'm a fair distance away from enemies, pop that and then just charge at the enemies. Pretty much from there, you're free to just run around and deal as much damage as possible if the cooldown is about to reset or if i'm in a tough situation i usually pop that to teleport back to the original spot sit there wait for the cooldowns and then go again for the third skill it's kind of personal preference i would say it's really up to you but i would highly suggest to use an interrupt skill here like temporal blade or the veneta's knife i originally rolled with temporal blade until i got veneta's knife and i do prefer veneta's knife because it doesn't require you to be next to an enemy and it does hop between multiple enemies and it does have a nice slow as well as the interrupt so i found this to be a little bit more valuable than having to run directly up into an enemy and pop the temporal blade this is up to you though if you prefer cyclone slice or the temporal blade you can use them it's just really you need to interrupt skill here for the bosses and the elites now onto your class tree we are focusing on the reaver line the bigger nodes are the most important that's why they're bigger we also move slightly into the assassin line to get the outrider execution so that when you do have borrowed time active you gain 50 percent weapon damage which is a really decent buff in the assassin line you pretty much just want to follow everything i have here do pick up Assault Master as soon as possible because it does increase your damage with Assault Rifles and the drop rate, especially when you're leveling, having this ability as early as possible so that you can get some better Assault Rifles as you're leveling, as you're getting up your world tier is really important. One thing to note here is to avoid the Anomalous Acceleration. It does increase your Anomaly Power, which is a key focus of what we're doing here. However, it does activate when your damage skill ends. So for example, with Twisted Rounds, it activates when it ends, which isn't what we want. We want to have the most anomaly power possible during twisted rounds so that's why we haven't gone with that option here otherwise just follow the tree that i have on the screen here it is pretty self-explanatory you want to focus on your anomaly power lowering your cooldowns and trying to get as much damage out that you possibly can another thing to note at the higher stage is the shadows embrace this is a huge buff to just your straight firepower definitely take this over the other option which transfers your health into shields rather than actually giving you health back now for your gear and mods for this build it's a little bit hard with gear because there's no real way to tell what gear you're going to have in any given time because it is mostly random drops so pretty much just focus on using an assault rifle whether that be an assault rifle a submachine gun a double gun whatever that is just as long as it's in that assault class and in terms of the mods that's really the key thing you need to focus on mods are the most important way to really progress your build the key mods that you want on some of your armor is additional mag so twisted rounds last an additional magazine before the cooldown trigger so you get two magazines so if you're perpetual mobile doesn't actually trigger and you do have to reload you've still got twisted rounds active so you can keep pumping out that damage 
I would also suggest during the leveling process to pick up blue blood so you gain weapon leech while twisted rounds is active. This is important for bosses. There are a lot of boss encounters, especially as a trickster, where it can be really hard to heal because you can't kill anything because it's just the boss. So having that weapon leech is important and strong twist is also good as it just gives you a flat firepower increase while you do have twisted rounds active. Some other things you should look at for the borrowed time skill is time space protection. So you gain armor and resistances while borrowed time is active gun shield as well gives you extra firepower while borrowed time is active so this is on top of the abilities bonus that we get this is another firepower increase while you have it active the only weapon mod you need to focus on we've already kind of mentioned which is the perpetuum mobile so that you get your magazine refilled if you do kill an enemy with 30 percent or less ammo remaining in your mag essentially this is the key part of this build so that you can keep your twisted rounds active as long as possible it's also worth noting that while twisted rounds is active you do have unlimited ammo so you're not actually consuming your typical ammo so pretty much this is a perfect run and gun solution you never have to reload you don't lose your twisted rounds during combat and you can just keep grinding that out this is also really good for elites because you can keep pumping out twisted round shots onto elites which actually does a huge amount of damage it's pretty much the best way to kill elites is with borrowed time and twisted rounds active this also gives you some flexibility in boss fights with the weapon leech as well if you do pick up blue blood as a mod here and some other tips that you should look at when picking armor and weapons throughout the leveling and the story really you should focus on mods now if there is some armor that has a higher armor value than the current piece you're wearing you can pick that up and change the mod slot to be one of the mods that we've mentioned earlier this will then give you that extra armor as well as the mod that you need specifically for this build for your weapons i would focus on anything that increases your close range damage or your weapon leech so that you do get a little bit of health and any weapon that you do put on please put that weapon mod perpetual mobile on it once you have unlocked it you can unlock it by finding a weapon that has this mod and then using the dismantle and you will unlock the mod hip fire is very important and you should be sprinting and hip firing as much as possible you can aim down sights and i typically do because it's just a force of habit to aim down sights but if you can avoid it just hip fire your way through combat and you will be able to move a bit quicker as well as avoiding shots while hip firing it's often a good thing to do tricksters heal when you kill things in close range now we all kind of know that but the thing that you will notice is when you are in close range the enemies will have the little icon the skull with the heal icon on them this is to indicate that if you kill that enemy you will get your health back but it also will indicate to you that you are within close range to get the benefits from your close range damage so even if you are fighting a elite or a boss or something if you are within this close range distance where that icon is showing that will indicate you're getting the damage bonuses from your close range specifically for the trickster check out my outriders tips video if you are looking for more outriders content it goes through 25 plus tips on outriders for any class for any playthrough and for any experience so it's a really good video to check out if you're looking for just some general tips and information about outriders please follow me on twitter instagram and on twitch where i stream two days a week tuesdays and thursdays if you want to see this build in progress and how i'm going to develop this build further then please jump over there because this is the build that i'm primarily running on stream thank you for watching this video my name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.